there, Leslie Kamiko, your classroom dance teacher here, coming to you today from a sunny day outside on my farm in Oregon. The weather was so nice, I thought I'd take you all outside. That means there may be some chickens or a barn cat wandering around here at some point. Don't let them distract you, all they are kind of cute. All right, so today we're on video number three of the Soran Bushi tutorial. We're gonna start today by reviewing everything you've already learned, including the new section we added last week with the smacking of the thighs and the shielding your eyes from the sun. You can see how well that actually works outside. Um, and then we're going to add on two more sections today. One is a refrain, the Dokoi shows that you already know, and we've got some new stuff today. You're getting close to the end, you're doing a great job. So let's begin with a review. We're gonna start by talking it through and then we'll try it with the music. So I'm gonna step back, feet together, hands behind you. I give the cue, Kamai Te, you jump out, height. Bring your hand across, here goes those waves, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, do it again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, grab those ropes. Dok koi show, dok koi show. You say, dok koi show, dok koi show. Grab the nets. So ran, so ran. You say, so ran, so ran. Again, dok koi show, dok koi show. Dok koi show, dok koi show. So ran, so ran, so ran, so ran. Five of these. Five and back. Four and back. Three and back. Two and back. One more. We go. Hi. Height. Now we take the knots. Reach over, grab a rope, tie a knot, pull it tight. Reach over, grab a rope, tie a knot, pull it tight. Jump down, jump out. Shuffle to the left and tilt. Shuffle to the right and tilt. Shuffle to the left and tilt. Shuffle to the right and tilt. We repeat the chorus. Dok koi show, dok koi show. You say. So ran, so ran. You say. Do it again. Do koi show, do koi show, you say. So ran, so ran. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Hi, 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 hi. Here's the new stuff from last time. Leg and open, leg and open. Shield your eyes slow, slow, fast, fast. Jump down, jump out. Shuffles to the left, shuffles to the right. Watch out for your neighbor, and one more time. Yes, whew, that's as far as we went, right? All right, let's try this with the music. Feet together, hands behind you. We'll get you in the ready position, and then we'll start the sound. Here's the cue, Kamai Te, hi. How'd you do? I'm sure it was awesome. So you're gonna hear in the music the Dokoi shows come back and guess what? You already know what to do. Whenever you hear Dokoi show, it's like they're just telling you what it is you're supposed to do next. Dokoi show, Dokoi show, you do that again. Soran, Soran, you do that again. Dokoi show, Dokoi show, you do that again. Another set of the Sorans. That's it. This time you don't go forward onto these. 
you stop after the last time you toss those fishing nets out into the water. So when you hear the next chorus, repeat the Dokoi shows, repeat the Sorans, and then we've got some new stuff right after that. So let's try the whole thing again with the music, and this time we're going to add that abbreviated chorus with the Dokoi shows and the Sorans. I want to hear you nice and loud, call and response, make sure that I can hear those Dokoi shows and those Sorans nice and loud. I want you to get as low as you can on those lunges and put a lot of energy into this. All right, let's try it again all the way through to the end of the new Soran chorus. All right, you're in the ready position, hands behind you. I'm gonna give the cue, Kamai Te, Pai. All right, so you're in the home stretch. We've got just a little more choreography to learn and then you're all the way through the dance, so congratulations. So you finished your last soran and you've tossed those fishing nets. You're now gonna jog four times, nice big jogs. Really use those arms, get those knees up high in the air four times, one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna step down and punch. I'm gonna twist towards my left side, punching with my right arm across. And then I go the other way and punch. The hand that's not punching goes to a fist to my hip. So I punch and punch with a little bit of a twist. We do that two times in a row. So we're gonna do that again. Jog, two, three, four. Punch and punch. Make sure those punches are nice and strong. Yeah, down on the sides. So two times in a row. Four jogs, punch across. Four jogs, punch across. That's the fast version of it. Here we go. Five, six, ready, and one, two, three, four, punch and punch. Again, one, two, three, four, punch and punch. Yes? So you finished your last punch. You're twisting over here to the side. You're gonna twist now to the other side and cross your hands. Your hands stay in fists, but it's like an umpire saying, safe. And as you do that, you're gonna get down low. I should scoot back so you can see me. You're gonna get down low. If you can get all the way to your knee, great. Don't go down so hard that you slam your knee into the ground. So be careful, get as low as you can. Just don't hit that knee too hard on the floor. So you finished your last punch and punch. You do safe to the side and you nod your head. Then you do safe to the other side and you nod your head. All right, so let's try that from the four jogs, the first set. Jog, two, three, four, punch and punch. Again, jog, two, three, four, punch and punch. We go safe, nod your head, safe, nod your head. Teachers is a tip, if it's getting confusing, which side is which, rights and lefts can be confusing, especially if you're first learning them. Um, I use landmarks in the room often. So the last place I taught this, we had a music room on one side and we had Timberwolves on the gym uh, wall on the other side. So I can say to the music room, to the Timberwolves, whatever it is that you have landmarks in your room sometimes help take the place of rights and lefts. All right, let's try that four jogs one more time. We've got jog, two, three, four, punch and punch. Again, jog, two, three, four, punch and punch. Safe, safe, nod your head. Safe, nod your head. 
All right, you are so in the home stretch. There's only one more video to go before you've learned this entire dance. And the next video is pretty simple. You only have one more new move. I wanna focus an entire video on it though because it's a ripple effect that's gonna go across your class. Um, but there's only one more new move and then you've got the chorus and then you've learned the entire thing. So let's review all the new material for today. You finished last video, you learned this section, two of these fast, jump down and open with the shuffles and shuffle, that's my super speedy shuffle. This is where we left off last time. The new stuff was the abbreviated chorus, two dokoi shows, two sorans, two more dokoi shows, two sorans. And now in place of where you would rock forward, you don't rock forward this time. Instead you jog, one, two, three, four, punch down, punch down. You do it again, one, two, three, four, punch down, punch down. And the safe, safe, nod your head, safe, nod your head. That's where we're going to leave off today. So let's try the whole thing with the music all the way through with all the new stuff. And that we'll call it good. All right. Come on, tap. Hi. All right, that does it for us today. Remember, we just have one video left with our final effect before you've learned the entire dance. Our next video is gonna focus on that ripple as well as adding some layers of complexity for your older students and working on the transitions, ins and outs. So uh, I hope you've had fun. You, I hear that you all are doing amazing work. Until next time, this is Leslie Kamiko, your classroom dance teacher, and happy dancing.